Hi everyone, I'm Andre, and since I've started the channel, a lot of people have asked me what cameras I use to get really stable footage from a paraglider. So in this video, I thought I'd show you some of the equipment and techniques that I use to get shots like these. Okay, so obviously the main part is the DJI Osmo. This is basically a GoPro with a three-axis gimbal. Uh, also an extension cord so we can separate the gimbal part from the base and you'll see later on how that's important. Uh, then a clamp to connect to the carabiners, three extra batteries, a microphone uh, to use when I'm on the ground and a lapel mic that easily connects to a phone um, to use when I'm in the air. And this is just an adapter to help connect this microphone to that bracket. So there's two ways I use the Osmo. When I'm on the ground and I'm, when I'm in the air. Uh, for now, let's see when I'm on the ground, we won't need that. We don't need the batteries, we don't need the clamp, and we don't need this actually. So. All we need is the Osmo. Uh, I'll show you how it works. This has a, a little grip here for using your phone as a viewfinder if you need it. I personally prefer to use it just like a GoPro where you point and shoot and you kind of guess what you're, what you're getting because it's quite a wide angle lens. And then with this adapter, I can get a cold shoe mount here and this Rode mic, which is a passive mic. I've used other ones before, but this one doesn't have a, um, doesn't need batteries. So I find it a lot better uh, to use because I don't forget to turn it on and the batteries don't run out. That plugs into the back and now you can use the sound from this in the Osmo because the sound on the Osmo has an onboard mic, but is really, really bad, completely unusable. You unlock the gimbal and that's it. So as you can see, it takes um, a couple of seconds to initialize, but then basically this part here is stable. Doesn't matter what's happening to the base. Uh, you have a few controls here like start and stop recording and uh, moving the actual gimbal head around. Um, but it's, I prefer to just, as you turn the base, it turns the head. So it makes it a lot easier. And obviously you can quite quickly, if, you're, if I'm filming something in front of me, I can reset it and it always looks forward. And with three taps, it turns around, making it really easy to do. And I turn the microphone around as well to do a quick piece to camera and tell people about what I'm doing. Um, so that's on the ground. Uh, let's go into the workshop and uh, get the harness out and see what it's like when it's in the air. Okay, so I'm walking along now I've got to the location where I actually want to take off. Um, what I do is turn off the Osmo, uh, unclip the uh, microphone, I'll put it away, usually underneath my uh, cockpit, which is where I store my stuff as well. Take this bracket off, store that as well, put that to the side. Uh, I connect the microphone to the uh, phone and put it away. As you can see, I have one here, routed the cable through the inside and just put the phone in my pocket. So that's the, uh, that's the sound you're hearing now. Um, so we can put that away. That would be in my pocket now. And then um, I've, I will put the extension cable on. So that goes there. There's a little mark and that locks in. It's better if the bottom of the gimbal is locked so it doesn't go back and forth. And there's a little mark there. And then so that's locked. So this is now, as you can see, working the same as before, but with this extension cord, in which case the gimbal is separated from the controller, if you will, and the battery. 
So that's much more useful. So next step is to connect the clamp to the gimbal. This obviously is quite important to be very tight and not come undone because otherwise if it was to uh, if it was to come undone then the only thing keeping your gimbal from falling uh, would be the cable which wouldn't be great. Okay. So with this setup now we're ready to put it on the um, on the harness. Um, I'll go ahead and I never really take my wing off my harness really, I don't take the risers off. So what I usually do is I lay out the wing and make sure everything is fine, do my checks, uh, put, my, um, put my instruments on, which I usually fly with like this, uh, instruments there, and those to go on the uh, on the carabiners so I'll do that and show you from there okay so this is pretty much the setup that I fly with normally uh, regardless of uh, if I'm f uh, filming or not got the uh, my uh, instrument cockpit there um, and obviously I'll be sitting there um, I've put I obviously put all this set all this up on the ground and the basic layout is that goes there on the side uh, out uh, out of the reach of the of the instruments really and the clamp clamps onto the left side so I usually put my carabiners backwards to what most uh, people do that's because I want the gates to be at the back and this plane side to um, to be here in the front so that I can clamp this clamp to it so just put it here right on the bare metal and obviously these jaws this clamp has um, has some rubber, so not not to damage the, the the carabiners, and then it has a little link here in which I can kind of adjust the position roughly. So I tend to put it uh, something like that. There we go, and make sure all of these are tight and secure. Um, then uh, I usually just um, put this uh, cord through the through something that won't easily move so if something was to uh, to get loose then this is always hanging from uh, from this cord and then I use a series of uh, carabiners uh, and elastic bands uh, bubbles as they call them here in the UK uh, hair bands to uh, to fix this down and I think usually as well I'll have a carabiner here that I'm now using for something else that will just connect to this loop here and keep it all tight so um, it, it really is out of um, you know it, it is out of the way uh, and I use it I use it as normal one of the main things to to bear in mind uh, that I always double check is the speed line especially one um, when this is all down and you're about to inflate your wing to to take off the the speed um, the speed bar might get caught in you know different places around here like there or the gimbal itself so I I'm extra careful about that and about lines in general um, but yeah it, it's it's a snag point so you need to be careful about that uh, and that is uh, that's pretty much it so if we turn this on when we're flying that is uh, that's how it works uh, I can put it a little bit more upright as well and the good thing is about this um, is that I can um, I can control the gimbal using this little joystick which isn't ideal really because it's quite slow and it takes um, takes a fair bit of time what I tend to do is the brakes are here I'm flying here so I'll just quickly press there to start and stop recording. Uh, and also to direct the camera, I, you can, on the Osmo, you can simply touch it and point it somewhere and it kind of stays. So I can turn it around quite easily, but just by tapping it and roughly pointing where I want to point. So I can look down there. I can look down there at the landscape etc and and the, the time that it takes me to let go of the brake or sometimes even keep hold of the brake 
and reach down here is not too much and I'm not putting too much brake on because usually I just tap it like that sideways. Um, so this is just another view from the cockpit. So that's where you would, uh, so you turn your video on and off. Then that's where how the cables are routed. So yeah, that's it. And as you can see, as the as the harness rotates, you know the the gimbal does a you know even if you go more extreme, the gimbal does a pretty good job of staying completely stable. Okay, so that's it. Uh, not super straightforward, but not super complicated either. Hopefully. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, if you're thinking of doing something similar or you use different techniques, leave it down in the comments. Uh, yeah, and I'll uh, see you on the next video. Oh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, it really helps. Um, so yeah, see you on the next video. Bye.